Greetings and salutations. Once again, I am here with round three of the WWPC Finals. This is a best out of five matchup between TA for Life and the Red Viper to determine the winner of the championship title. You get an avatar with that as well. This is the under 1900 bracket. Um, WWPC is a recurring tournament, so any of you that are interested in participating in a tournament, by all means, head over to the forums or to the tourney tab on the FAF client and, client and sign up for those. I think there is a there's like a 1200-ish bracket and then a 1900-ish bracket, and then if there are enough players that sign up. There is an over 1900 bracket, so there is plenty there for everybody to participate in. All right, as you guys have seen already in the first two games, um, Red Viper took both wins. This is best out of five, so one more for him, and he takes the title. And this is a Cybern versus Cybern matchup, so all things are equal except for player skill. The map is Craig Dunes, and this is another one that's a bit difficult to play. We've actually got a nice little raiding unit. I love these hunters. TA for Life has shown his propensity for raiding, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if he can pull out a win against the Red Viper because he's lost the last two due to uh, somewhat silly circumstances. All right, we've got first land for both players, and then thir second and third land for TA for life, and it looks like second air, and then third land for the Red Viper. So there is already something a little bit different between the players. This map, very strangely laid out. You've got a lot of area around your base. This is not a corner versus corner map gonna stick that hunter right back there and come back and revisit that hydro um, the hydro is way too far away to build right off the bat you're gonna have to survive on tech one power and then there, there are two choke points for each player with a channel in the center and this leads to some very interesting play and you really don't want to stick your ACU in this gap right here because then you will get sworn from both sides in a pincer maneuver and if you're not careful, you will end up dead. Um, the other thing to mention about this map is there are crap loads of reclaim. There's a Tech 2 transport there, a bunch of wrecks around on the ground, some tank wrecks. I believe those are Tech 2 tanks. Looks like pillars. So there's a ton of mass. You need to overbuild power just a little bit to take advantage of that reclaim. Should already see the numbers starting to jump up. Uh, actually, TA for Life is way ahead. He's already clearing 15, no, 4, 1300. I am rounding up way too far. Do not pay attention to my math skills. And he has power stalling for it, burning off all that reclaim. Red Viper has only reclaimed about 500, but his uh, power situation is looking substantially better. All right, looks like both players are going to be setting up some land spam. I'm trying to get a count on the factories here. Red Viper is actually building multiple factories at once, and he is severely negative, but again, all you have to do is suck up some of these Ilshavas or other uh, wrecks around the map, and you should be able to recover your eco quite nicely. TA for Life is going to get a bomber online. He does have that air factory up, and in both of the last games, we saw TA do a ton of damage with Tech 1 bombers. If I were the Red Viper, I would be overbuilding interceptors knowing that TA for life is out for my head with those stupid T1 bombers just suiciding into my units and uh, damaging all my tanks and wrecking. It's, it's just not a good situation. All right. Perhaps this game I can untie my tongue somewhat. Looks like TA for life is absolutely blowing Eco out of the water. It looks like he's had more advantage or more experience on this map than the Red Viper has. Red Viper is just not implementing very well. He does not have all of his mass extractors reclaim. He's not gone after his Hydro. He's far behind on reclaim. 1500 behind at 6 minutes is a huge huge deal ta for life is currently out spamming him and slowly adding factories so 
it, unless something changes here pretty quickly, I think TA for life might have this one in the bag, although it is a little bit early to be making that call quite yet. So many factories going up for TA. This is absolutely ridiculous. He's actually overflowing mass at the moment. Um, he has not started an extractor upgrade, which is kind of surprising considering the amount of mass he's bringing in. And he still has a ton of mass left to reclaim. So he's going to be able to maintain this pace for quite some time. Still got the Civ buildings in the middle too, but those are really not worth that much mass. Red Viper is bringing his ACU into the center. And as I was saying, haha, <laughs> fake point defense going up here. An engineer happily building away that will show up on radar as point defense only they have already been scouted so that is a useless gesture um, the red viper is sticking his ACU exactly where I was commenting on you do not want to put your ACU there and just as I was foreseeing all the units we've got ACU and units on this side and then we've got bunches of units on this side and I think the Red Viper is about to die a horrible and painful death Red Viper actually pulled an early tech 2 upgrade and TA for life did as well that is surprising don't often see that on this map oh Red Viper keep running keep running I think that was a misplaced move order he probably accidentally reclaimed instead of moving he is at 500 health right now. He has a chance to get away. 800 regening. Oh, he's going to get around the corner and away with 800 health. Buddy, you need to hide that ACU somewhere because you, you cannot take any more damage. And now the units are starting to pour in the right-hand side. Red Viper sacrificed all of his units to keep his ACU alive. He has no ability to deny on this right side. No units left. Can't get point defense up because there's already Tech 1 artillery on it. He's calling the good game, and I really don't blame him. He's down to 2,400 health at the moment, and TA is basically full health. And TA has an overwhelming advantage in units. Alrighty, that is going to be game on this one. Good game to both players. Um, I, I think the map did the Red Viper in more than anything. I think his build just was not up to par. And I'm sure that he will be correcting that in the coming days. Always, always got to practice when you got a tourney like this. And you know that map's going to pop up. I think it's been in the last three WWPCs that I've seen. Alrighty, that is that. It is two to one, Red Viper to TA for life, and this is best out of five. Next match is coming up soon as I can get it out.